Gabriel. I'd say anthemic indie rock. Um, we often get compared to Coldplay, um, and it's kind of melancholic. Our manager Simon calls it weak rock. Um, so yeah, kind of big songs with catchy choruses. Hopefully, that's what we try to do. That's difficult. Um, things, things over the last few months have been so crazy and been building so quickly. Um, the Olympics and the Paralympics were fantastic and they really opened us up to a wider audience. We were playing to people from all over the world. Um, but it's, it's really hard to say. I'm, I'm still waiting for, for the next highlight. I think it keeps building at such a rate and we're playing so many shows and meeting so many great, great people. Day to day, the, kind of the highlight of being in the band changes, so it's a hard one to answer. So it was quite, um, the song had quite a, a dramatic lyric and we were going through kind of 28 days, the Walking Dead kind of vibe. Um, so we went to meet a few directors, we had this amazing director called Joanna, who was really young and really kind of keen to, to push us forward and give us a really good idea. So it was quite a daunting concept, I think. I think if you haven't seen the video, it's kind of me having open heart surgery whilst delivering the lyric. Um, so we just pulled on a great team of people and, and really worked to, to try and do it justice. I'm happy with how the video came out. It was, it was really kind of, it was eye-opening and, and we kind of turned up at this place and we didn't really know what had been arranged. We left it very much to Urana and we turned up at this studio and kind of, as more and more kind of a rabble, there were just some really lovely people, um, quite a big, quite a big crew and um, no, it was just really enjoyable. I mean, it was intense. I was lying on a, a hospital bed for <laughs> something like 12 hours that day while they did the shots, but no, it was, it was fun. I can't wait to do the next music video for the singles. 27th of January is the preliminary date we've set and um, that'll be firmed up um, and it's a track called Sami's Lover which we really can't wait to, to put out there. Um, a lot of the melodies and lyrics come from me and I'll take them to kind of Ali who will put piano and parts and get the bass and kind of the rhythms um, on board and there's Isaac who's, who's a great writer as well. Um, James will come on for guitars, Tom's will help, um, Tom will help with the drums. So it's really kind of a conjoined process um, and it's something we really enjoy doing, writing is kind of my favourite part of being in a band, we, we love that. Bring it all back to life, I want to see her. It's always, it's always great to go back home and other places we've kind of touched as a band, like we've got a show and we're doing a graduation party over at Nottingham University um, over the next couple of weeks and that'll be fantastic because um, I used to go there and there's some people who really supported us across the whole kind of level of, um, of the band, of kind of the whole building, the whole process. So. I've only just discovered Manchester Orchestra, um, who are a band who are a huge influence in my writing, and I don't think enough people have heard of them, especially over here. Um, so, yeah, they're the band I'm really, really kind of listening to quite heavily at the moment. So